We all know that the coronavirus is eliminating a lot of things that are fun, right? We're losing our sports. We can't watch basketball. We can't watch the Heat, see if they can stay in the top four. We can't watch the Panthers choke away another season. You know what I mean? Baseball was about to start. Marlins have a bunch of young guys that we're excited about to see if maybe we could start to grow another team here and keep them around, you know, that kind of stuff. There's a lot of things to look forward to, right? And the coronavirus is taking away a lot of that enjoyment. Uh, concerts, those of us that love concerts, if you, I mean, maybe you had a get-together planned for your corporation, uh, whatever. Those things have been canceled. Picnics, whatever it is that was going on, you were looking for. You can't go to the movies. I mean, there's a lot of things that we all enjoy. Can't go to parks. Can't go to beaches. Can't go to the mall now. Can't go to the mall. There's a lot of things out there that we can't enjoy. Well, the coronavirus has cost us one more thing that some of us used to enjoy, some were still enjoying, but now it's done. After 66 years, boy, which hits the newsstands this week, will be the last printed. That's right. Founded by late Hugh Hefner, the magazine has become a cultural touch point recognized by 97% of the world's population, okay? After years of declining sales, the decision has been made to finally stop print edition to focus online content. Ben Cohn, CEO of Playboy Enterprises, said the decision to call it a day was sped up by the coronavirus pandemic. He wrote in an open letter, over the past 66 years, we've become far more than a magazine. And sometimes you have to let go of the past to make room for the future. So we're turning our attention to achieving our mission in the most effective and impactful way we can to help create a culture where all people can pursue pleasure. We look forward to continuing to work together with all of you, keep our business strong and growing. Playboy is many things to many people, magazine to many, a lifestyle to many more, an apparel brand, a membership club, and even according to some, a corrupter of our youth. <laughs> but throughout the past 66 years, one thing has remained constant. Our commitment to free expression and breaking taboos, leaning into discomfort, helping audiences express and understand their sexuality, and advocating for a pursuit of pleasure for all. Once the magazine print run is finished, Playboy Enterprises will move to a digital first publishing schedule for all of its content, including Playboy Interview 20Q, the Playboy Advisor, and of course, our Playmate Pictorials. Playboy was still being published monthly in 2017, but was recently scaled back to a quarterly mag without ads. In its heyday in the 70s, the magazine had a circulation of more than 7 million across the world. The widespread availability of online porn is largely blamed for the downfall of Playboy. That's weird, isn't it? Because Playboy nudity is completely different than porn. There was always a sense of, I, I, I know you can't say classy, but it was like clean nudity. You know what I'm saying? It was just one of those where it just, it was different. You kind of looked at it and you, I don't know, you, you had a higher opinion of a woman in a spread for Playboy than Hustler, Penthouse, We, whatever. Ex exactly what you're talking about. That's why I got a subscription to Playboy for my 12th birthday. Because having older cousins... And them being into the hustlers, the you know the nasty, and my parents had a discussion. It was about that's kind of an approach. Like, let's give him his own. They've got real articles. We'll ask him about the articles, the interviews of this, and it'll be a classier. You know, it won't be so degraded. So, yeah, for my 12th birthday, I did get a subscription to Playboy. There you go. That's a it's a different type of 12 back in those days. Uh, the magazine first hit the shelves back in 53 with the edition containing nude pictures of Marilyn Monroe. 
It was a huge hit and sold 50,000 copies, despite the Hollywood star having never posed for Playboy or consented to her photos being used. Hefner had bought the pictures Monroe had taken in 49 for 50 bucks when she was jobless. In the early editions, it also uh, had Ray Bar Bradbury's classic novel, Fahrenheit 451, cementing then the struggling author's reputation in the process. So they've got all kinds, like uh, on the front cover, they're showing you Dolly Parton and Kim Kardashian. I mean, really, does she have to be on Playboy? Uh, Joan Collins, there you go. She's not Playboy material. Who, Joan that, Collins? No, man, Kardashian. Let, oh, yeah, she, no. start, she got everything because of that porno. Yeah, that's she it. She is a classless. Yes. I'm with you there. But anyway, so there you go. Playboy is over. You cannot buy the magazine anymore thanks to the coronavirus. It sped up the killing of Playboy. The magazine that brought more kids through puberty than any other magazine in the history of the world. Because it's the one you would find most, too, as a kid in the trash. You're riding bike through the neighborhood, and you see right by the telephone pole there's a dump site. Because remember, remember in all the blocks when we were kids, there was always a, a spot or two on every block that was a dump site. And that truck with the crane would come by, pick up all the trash. So all that trash was exposed. And a lot of times you'd drive by, you see some magazines, whoa, there's a Playboy there. And that's it. It was on. You didn't care it was in the trash. You're 10 years old. There was no Corona. Hell, Corona beer wasn't around at 10 years old here in this country. I'm talking about 40-something years ago, folks, okay? All right. Just so you know. All right. I love it. All right. 786. Okay. Go ahead. 322. 1105 on the accident text line. That's 786 322 1105. If you want to get in on the accident text line, you can also reach out to us on Twitter. That's at Big O Show. Follow us there as always. So the coronavirus kills Playboy Magazine.